This week, as we light the second Advent candle, we reflect on those who are walking through the season of chaos. Isaiah 9 6 through 7 says, For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His government and its peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor David for all of eternity. The compassionate commitment of the Lord of the heaven's armies will make this happen. The hope of the Advent season then reminds us that peace is found in Jesus. 2020 has thrown us all a million curveballs, um, specifically with my family, with the multitude of people that got sick, not specifically from COVID, but had some crazy scares, had some um, really big hurdles that we had to jump through, and us having to weigh um, the, those responsibilities and how to um, go about doing those things. So definitely remembering that Jesus was um, the Prince of Peace in those seasons was the only thing that could have gotten us through those storms. 2020 and the rest of our lives will always throw us different hurdles, different things that we didn't plan what I love about this Advent season is that it calls us back to remembrance that Jesus truly is the Prince of Peace and that we can pass all our cares and all of our anxieties, no matter the storm, no matter the season. As you and your family reflect on the peace available in Jesus, uh, just answer these questions. Where do you need peace? Are there others around you who need peace? How can we extend peace to a broken world? And, you know, let's just make a list and spend some time this week praying together as a family over those things. Also, be sure to just check out the Kids Corner. We have an awesome activity that we've been able to put together for you and the family. As we dive deeper into this Advent, we'd love to pray with you guys. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that you truly are our Prince of Peace, Lord. When storms come our way, and they will, when chaos comes our way, and it will, that you promise to be our Prince of Peace, that we cast all our anxieties, all of our fear, all the chaos that we're walking through, Father, that you will speak order into it, Father. And this season, I pray that you bring peace to households, to family tables, Father, to living rooms, to dining rooms, all over this place, Father, as our people dive deeper into your word. In your precious and holy name we pray.